Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Ines Alea, and welcome to the Creator Galaxy Space Station. Here in space, we are experimenting with intergalactic filmmaking skills and visual effects. In today's video, we're going to take a look on how to reduce your noise, how to remove jitter, flicker, or repeated frames, and whatsoever. Everything uh, that would be your worst nightmare when it comes to video footage. We're going to take a look on how to remove that, and yes, we can. I'm going to take this clip, which is terrible. It has plenty of noise especially if we zoom in into specific areas it has light flicker it has everything that looks terrible and we're going to turn it into this all right so that looks amazing I know I, I know you know I know you know that you didn't know that this was possible <laughs> I know that you didn't know that this was possible well I know I think I think I know that you didn't know about this thing. <laughs> okay, so this is really crazy. I mean, this would make your camera no excuse anymore to go out and film. Like, any camera, you can just clean it up with this plugin and it's really amazing. Honestly, I've known Neat Video for many years now. I've been working with their plugin for many, many years and I've always standed behind their, their product because it's just such a great plugin and it does the best job uh, at solving these things. As far as I know, they are the best uh, for removing these types of things. So that's really incredible. And I do wanna let you know that this video is sponsored by them, but that doesn't mean that anything changes uh, on my perspective on the, on the plugin because I've basically always been using it. It just makes me super proud to be able to spread the word even more uh, and be a part of their team. So that's really cool. Uh, let's jump into Adobe After Effects and see what we can do with it. So here I am in Adobe After Effects. This is a video clip that we will be working with. And just so you realize, just zoom in here, see how terrible it looks. It's terrible. I mean, it's full of noise. And especially if we're going to move to this area here, we have this flickering line, which is terrible. Uh, we have, yeah, it's just basically, if you would get this as a video file, you would probably think to yourself, Okay, I should go and record it again, but then if you would be in a travel and you can't get to that spot anymore, you can't do that. I mean, the detail is terrible. So we're going to be solving that using their plugin. So the first thing that I wanna do, of course, is go to effect and then go to neat video and apply the reduce noise. Version five is what we will be using. And we're going to click on the button prepare. That's going to open up a new window. And I'm just going to make sure uh, that we can be opening this like this. When you open this, uh, you will probably see it like this screen. Uh, and here we can do all sorts of things to solve our problems. The easiest method is obviously to go to auto profile and then to just adjust it and boom, you're done. And basically you already see a very big difference. If we zoom in here, uh, we have noise, no noise, it's solved. And if you're going to play this, it already looks like it's doing a pretty good job. We still have some flicker though, some other issues. I uh, like, like right here, we can see some jittering and stuff like that. So uh, this would be a great solution for many shots with like a little bit of noise and we just want to clean it up a little bit more and boom, we're done. But in this video, we're going to really dive into all these settings and yeah, talk about the fun stuff, like let's say. So the first thing you want to do is obviously, again, we're going back to our prepared noise profile tab right here. And I'm going to open up the advanced mode. You're not going to see too much change here. Um, but what we want to do is uh, build a profile, of course. So when we are doing this, uh, we do want to build a profile, look at it. If it doesn't look okay, we're going to uh, try and make a new one. So we're going to take this uh, little square here and we're going to place it into an area that is big enough, doesn't have any detail and has a lot of noise. So this is really important that it doesn't have any detail because when we look at something like this wall, for example, you can see that it has a lot of detail. Obviously there is also a lot of noise, but it's also going to take the detail of the wall as some kind of uh, feeding uh, thing for uh, the noise removal. So you kind of have to feed it clean noise. That way it's going to be able to solve it. In this case, we have the street uh, but in the street, we do have some concrete and it, yeah, it's, they are, there are there are some dirt and stuff like that. So what we can do is maybe try and uh, play with the noise pattern here in uh, the sky. 
Um, but it's important that it turns kind of green to show you that it's a big enough area. But then we have this part here. So I'm not 100% sure if we can work with that. Click on generic profile. And that's going to kind of blur our image a little bit. So this is just going to allow us to kind of remove the noise on this image and then use this to actually go and remove the noise afterwards. You'll see in a second. So I'm going to change my mode here to YCRCB. Uh, and right here we can see these three other uh, windows popping up. And this is the blue channel, the red channel and the luminance channel. We can open up the noise level right here. We have the luminance, the red and the blue exactly like we see it here. So first we see that on all the three images we have noise. So I'm just going to clean this uh, and I'm actually going to move this just a little bit over here. And I'm going to be cleaning this by just increasing this number and really look closely, really, really closely. Try to really narrow it down. Maybe you want to kind of uh, hover over here and then you can also scroll by the way to really remove that tiny detail noise and I think this is doing a great job you can also go individually but usually uh, it should be um, a good match usually so you can open up the frequencies and we can also increase just these small parts a little bit just to make sure that we're also removing the noise there not too much maybe like 15 uh, and I think that will be all right for our noise here so once you're satisfied with this look like it looks like the noise is kind of cleaned up we can then move on by going to adjust and preview and right here if we're going to zoom like this is the before and this is the after so we already see that the noise is removed we can also play this to really see if it's working and uh, the noise is looking all right we can also increase the radius we can see that right here it's looking at the first um, well two frames before and two frames after to compare the noise and to remove it uh, if you're going to increase this number it's obviously going to have more information being fed to that one frame so that's a, ba a better solution to work with and uh, we can also kind of go through steps because this is a footage that has like many uh, problems to be solved. So to do this, we can go here into the filter settings and go to noise level check. Here we see this blue overlay and especially if we're going to play this, we want to see if this is changing a lot. And I think this is looking already great. I'm not going to touch this one um, part in the background. That's okay. So I think this looks great. I'm going to move on to local flicker check. And here we have a lot of issues, especially when you play it, uh, you can see that it's going all over the place. And basically what you have to do is go over here and just increase this until it's completely covered with blue. It's that simple. So I think this is looking great. All right, we can move on now to the repeated frames check. And that's just basically if you see that frames are repeated, you can increase this a little bit. And then next we have the spatial filter tuning. This is just the final tuning on the overall image. Uh, you can still tweak the noise if you think there is too much noise. I don't see any noise here. So um, basically you could even say that you want less noise uh, well, or you want a little bit of noise just to make the footage live a little bit. So next, obviously, you can go into the artifact removal. This is great to remove dots and lines and these scratches that you see on all old film looks, stuff like that, the frequencies that you can remove them on. We don't have that in this shot, so I'm not going to touch that. Uh, so, but I'm just going to keep it on. Maybe it's going to remove one thing or another. And then I'm also going to enable the edge smoothing. And right here, we do want to take a look at one of the edges here. And if we're going to lower this, we're going to get more detail in our shot we really have to take a look if this actually looks all right. So you can see this, it's bringing back detail here. And then the same for these mid parts, something like that. And for the low ones, doesn't matter that much. Okay. And then basically we should be finished. So if we're going to take a look at the final image, uh, we're going to see that we have no flicker and it's actually playing. So you can see the people in the background. This is um, our shot playing and we don't see anything on our entire screen distracting the viewer. So that's great. Uh, you can also go into sharpening, enable this and also add some sharpening here. So I'm just going to lower this completely and then kind of gradually increase this a little bit. If I go overboard, you can see it's a little bit too much, but like 50 is all right. We have these mid tones, just a little bit of sharpening here. Something like that should be all right. So before, after. And 
it's bringing back some detail there. All right, so that's great. I think that's it. And then we just click apply and boom, we have our video solved. So before the effect, we have this. And after the effect, we have this. And you can see it's actually playing back very, very quickly. And uh, this is also one of the things they solved on top of previous versions. It's a lot faster now. So you can see it's playing back very smoothly. Uh, it works flawlessly. And yeah, that's really great. If you wanna look more into working with Neat Video and you really wanna dive into all these specific settings, I would highly advise watching the tutorials from Neat Video themselves because they know how to explain this the best, I suppose. So I will put all these links in the description below. They have uh, videos for the noise, for the repeated frames, for the jitter, for the flicker, for old film school looks. Uh, so I'll put all these links so you can go and check for your specific problem, what you might have. And apart from that, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give this video a like. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more and definitely hit the notification bell to stay notified when we upload new videos. I hope to see you guys and girls in the next one. Take care and goodbye.